Good morning. It's like six o'clock in the morning. So the baby's awake. I'm awake and ready to go. Yeah, I'm awake. We are going on a road trip to the Tulip Festival in Mansfield, Missouri. We packed everything last night, packed food for the road. We're gonna like stop and make a picnic instead of like stopping and getting fast food and stuff. It's gonna be me, mom, Alexandra, my aunt, and my little cousin. <sighs> I gotta go wake Alexandra up. She's not gonna be happy because it's like way too early. Oh, stretch it out. <laughs> Did you sleep good? Is that a good sleepy girl? Let's go wake up sister. Sister. Mm. Good morning. It's time to go on a road trip. Good morning. Where you at under here? Wake up. I've had coffee. I'm much more awake now. So we're getting the car packed. Um, it's, it's getting pretty packed. I'm pretty sure I have everything in here. So we should be good to go. I gotta go do Alexander's hair. Here's our trunk. We have an ice chest. Like I said, we're gonna be making our own lunch and stuff on the way up. That's the baby's outfit she's gonna wear today. So, food. This is my mom's bag. My bag is down there. This is the baby's bag. Um, mainly, this is her cloth diapers, which is taking up the most room. We have another little ice chest here. Other things. I brought detergent because um, her cloth diapers have to be washed in a certain kind of detergent. And we also need to wash our own clothes. I'm gonna be sitting back here with baby Aubrey, of course. Her diaper bag. I always keep this bin down here full of just extra baby stuff in case I run out. But my pump and everything is down there too. Alexander gets to sit up front, so she's super excited because she never gets to sit up front. But now that I have baby, I'm letting her sit up front. So baby bird is three months old. This is her first road trip of seven hours. We'll see how that goes, huh? Is that you? Can you see yourself? Who is that? Is that little baby Aubrey? Is that little baby birdie bird? Whoa. Look at that morning hair. Hi. <laughs> Are you excited about our trip? Yeah, I'm tired though. Look at this outfit. Look at my shirt. That's a cute shirt. Whoa. We're about to do her hair and brush it and braid it. Alexander's not the best at doing her hair, huh? So sister has to help. My school is just sensitive. Your what? My head. Your skull is sensitive? You have a sensitive scalp? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> All right, let's do this hair. It makes it feel longer. Much better. Look at that hair. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. <gasps> and look at this more. <laughs> and look at her little rat tail in the bag. I'm gonna start putting hey. a bow on it. Hey mama. <laughs> hey mama. Happy girls, a happy, happy, happy trip time. <laughs> <laughs> we just stopped. Uh, we've been in the car, I think for like five hours maybe a little rest stop up in arkansas we're gonna make a picnic and eat lunch and have a little break because we're tired of being in the car the baby's tired of being in the car she's done really good so far but she's ready to be out of the car seat so we're gonna get out and have lunch hi baby i did it on the rock though hi sister hello i did it we have an hour left. I'll sit in the front. Is it as great as you thought it would be? Who are you talking about? How's your I like it, but I'm trying to sleep and I can't. Because I can't sit in my seat. The baby's sleeping. We made it to our cute little Airbnb. It's a little tiny house. It does have a garage with a washer and dryer. Bathroom. We have this room. I was in the middle of changing the baby 
before I got distracted. Alexander is babysitting. <laughs> and then this is it. I have started this cloth diapering journey and I actually really like it. It's not all that bad at all. Yes. Never mind. <laughs> have you found your chair? I think that's called a dope. What did the Easter Bunny bring you? I have no idea. It's over there. Oh my. What? You got Boba? This is cute. She likes going through each thing, one thing at a time. <laughs> Those look like the ones you used to have. Uh, are these? Stretchy. Aren't those cute? I don't know yes. <laughs> Alright, show everybody what you got. I got this. Some cute blue jeans. Those look so good on her. And this one too. Mm -hmm, those are cute. Some Easter bunny socks. Alzina has been wanting to try boba for forever now. I'm gonna try some right now. So she got some strawberry lemonade boba. And what is this one? Mango passion fruit. And here's that baby. Sister has her Easter socks on. Baby has her Easter outfit on. We gotta fix your hair. Actually, your hair looks really cute. I like it like that. <laughs> we are at the garden festival. This is the line to get in because it's not open yet. Look at all the pretty flowers. Hey, Alejandra. I see it. Alexander's outfit for today. Say hi. Hi. about to find something to eat. We're I'm starving. starving. We need some coffee. Alexander looks like when she's been walking all day. We are about to eat some lunch. Cafe diner. Got some music going on. The baby loves the music. Is it good? Oh yeah. That is the sweet and sour chicken. Are you having fun? Kinda, I'm hot. Kind. Alexander doesn't do well when she's uncomfortable. So it was cold this morning, so we put leggings on. And now it's hot and she's not having as much fun. No fun hot. Okay, I'm <laughs> But she was having a lot of fun earlier. Don't let it fool you, okay? Farm. I cannot tell you exactly when it began, but I can tell you that when I was younger than it. And it was my favorite time of my life. What did you think about the festival? It was nice. Oh wait, pause. Your shirt is backwards. I know, I need to fix that. <laughs> I just noticed it. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, walking around was good, but I got hot. Did you get to meet Jess from Roots and Refuge? Yes. What did you think about that? It was nice, I like her, she's cool. <laughs> We are actually back home. After the festival, we were so tired from being out in the sun all day and walking around that we all like went home and took a nap. And then the next day we woke up and started our drive home, but I'm cleaning, very boringly cleaning. I bought this local made honey and 
I want Alexander to try it. It is freaking delicious. Well, I think so. And that. You don't like honey? That's good, but I don't like honey. <laughs> my plants survived my husband taking care of them. And my little seedlings. So I have peppermint, lavender, peppermint, lavender. This is my small little tomato plant. I also met this girl from Midwest Nourishment. I really enjoyed our interaction. So I just, I want to give a shout out to her super small business because she just started, but her booth was very well put together. Also, she was super passionate and um, about what she was making and selling, which is why I ended up buying some. I've been using it since I bought it on Saturday and I've actually really fallen in love with it. Um, so her company is Midwest Nourishment. I'll have uh, her Instagram and website and everything linked in the comments down below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not gonna be for everybody for a couple of reasons. So it's made with tallow, which is beef fat. What's up girl? Tallow is actually so good for your skin. She was telling me all about it and then I also looked it up. I mean, this is what they used like back in the day before there were all these different types of moisturizers and creams and blah, 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 blah. And it's packed with a ton of vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin E, I think vitamin K I was reading, I could be wrong on that, but Google it. It's so good for your skin. I can tell a tremendous difference in my skin just in the few days that I've been using it. So since becoming a mom, um, I've really taken this small journey on things that are truly good for you and truly good for my baby. Of course, as a mother, you want the best for your children. Is that the hiccups? Do you see yourself? So like I've started cloth diapering, you know, I'm growing my own herbs because I want to be able to uh, dry them. I want to be able to attempt to make soap with them just so I know where my ingredients are coming from. So with that, my skincare, like, like especially my nighttime skincare, I've been kind of weeding out things after I've used them up. So tallow is good for babies. You can use it on babies. They have to be six months plus. Um, but it just makes me feel better about if it does get on her skin, it's not gonna hurt her. Very thick. It's almost kind of like uh, coconut oil where it's very thick. And then um, when you rub it between your hands, it starts to melt. It is oily. So if you don't like that thick, oily feeling on your skin, you're not gonna like it. Now, I love that feeling. I want to look greasy when I go to sleep. Uh, the other thing I got from her was her sunscreen. So this is what this looks like. Did you have fun at the festival? I'm gonna go feed this little girl. She's getting, she's getting really grumpy. So anyway, I love you guys. Stay weird always. And I'll see you in our next video.